is that when you're when you have the solvent that you need to perform an extraction in one pass you could send it through in five minutes rather than waiting for it to recover and sending it back through again this reduces the contact time that the solvent had with the plant material as it's flowing through the column that eliminates the need to extract at very low temperatures to decrease the solvent's efficiency at getting things out of the plant material that you're trying to avoid because you're not giving it the time you don't have to reduce the temperature as well and so you could even perform an extraction even though you have the advantage of having a larger mass here and you could reduce the temperature but you could achieve the same result as the guys that are chilling their columns because you have the energy stored in a larger mass but also because you're limiting the contact time that the solvent has with the plant material you reduce the temperature to some degree but I think that you'll find if you were to apply dry ice in this column wall and send warm solvent through here that you may be at negative 90 or whatever the temperature is on your dry ice sleeve but that doesn't mean the solvent in the inside and the plant material is the same temperature you remember you have a different temperature solvent rushing through here at the same time those two temperatures would marry and eventually this larger mass would overcome whatever this wall is doing if you were to send it through at a at a fast rate of speed but that decreased contact time from that fast rate of speed is what decreases your efficiency of dissolving unwanted desirable or desirable things out of the column um, the temperature has an effect on it as well but limiting the contact time does as well so if you're going to choose a, a labor intensive expensive process like reducing temperature or a faster higher production process like decreasing contact time it's more practical and obvious to choose the lower product um, the lower contact time over a lower temperature drop to achieve the same result